For you guys, is that McKinnon goal on the upper echelon of playoff goals, like in the history of the game? Like, where does that rank? Because that was uh, one that got me. It would have ranked a lot higher if they, they won. won. But they, it's unbelievable that they rallied after that. Yeah. They they come back. They use all that energy to tie the game. There's five minutes left. He scores that goal. The building erupts. They got a really good crowd there. It's popping. And for them to come back and find a way to score to tie it is unbelievable. Like, there, that's a well-coached team, gritty, competitive yeah. team. I, I can't... You know, um, you know. often the co-host for a Raptor show with Will Lou is Alex Wong. He always tweets about the Raptors whenever they're in close games. Or used to anyway, never underestimate the heart of a champion. Mm. That's how I feel about the Blues. Like, you just can't count out a team that's done it before, that's seen it and gets it. And Tampa, uh, that's the same narrative as the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sure it is. Even when things aren't going well, you're like, do you really want to write off Guys that have found ways to get the they job done. They call themselves done. the Tampa Bay Findaways. Like that's they they know that there's not one script for this stuff. You just hang in there, be patient, and push. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's why I'm betting Calgary tonight. If, not that they've if, done it, but I like the same similar build. If St. Louis finds a way to stretch this thing out and actually win it, I think it really takes away Nathan McKinnon's miraculous goal. And hat trick. It, 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 it strips it down. For sure. For sure. Is there anyone that but, that goal reminded you of, Borny? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, um, I'll, I'll cue it up. <laughs> all right, listen. Do we have the sound of McKinnon's we, or just the... We got, we got both. Okay, let's play Let's play uh, McKinnon's goal last night. Awesome call. The puck escapes and it's McKinnon on it. He's on his horse, powering through the speed burst. What's to Kelly? Oh, my goodness. What a goal. got a baby in yeah. god that was hard that was ryan a, sing that Brought was it. a really electric call it really was he yeah. nailed it all right now when you came into the the shop today yeah you mentioned and i don't remember this goal and i should have because i'm old enough to but your dad yeah. had a very similar goal all right and uh uh, Patrick, it's the division Patrick Division Finals. Final. I was like, what round is that? What does that mean, the Patrick <laughs> Division Finals? First? Third? I think, Against... be, I think that'd be the second round, right? Because right? it'd that be like sense. this round where it's the Division Final where they're playing yes. in, with yes. it. Yeah, so, yeah. so let's... Let's go to let's go back in time and hear the sound off of Here, that. Here's my dad. Coast to coast <laughs> goal. Up. Bob Bourne moves from one end to the other in the Patrick Division final against the New York Rangers. And that's it. Now it's just music. <laughs> <laughs> they literally don't talk. Bit over of a it. difference. <laughs> uh, if, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, that's Dave Hodge too, right? Was uh, it? I think it was a clip off of uh, Hockey Night in Canada back then. In the yeah, I think in the other uh, video it might be. It's uh, so make sure you Google the video yes. because they are eerily similar. The way that the puck kind of comes around the net. Your father, Bob, yeah, picks it up, and the crossovers around the net are quite a sight to be oh, seen. Oh, to be six foot four and doing long crossovers. I will say, my dad looks much more like uh, an eagle flying through the sky, yes. while McKinnon <laughs> looks like a freight train yeah, about to completely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, McKinnon doesn't he play with anger to you guys? Like his second puck, Purpose. he stick handles it into the net like he hates it. Like, yeah. oh, he is, he, he is, he is an angry guy. He's got a fire he to him. Well, even when he after he scored that goal, he just like smashes his stick against the board. I like, know. Just like, like, hey man, <laughs> relax. <laughs> um, there, can, can, can we play the sound at the beginning of of Dave Hodge again? There. Up. Bob Bourne moves from one end to the other. Doesn't that sound a little bit like you're you're watching like uh, a National Geographic movie, <laughs> Grade Six? Or, hi, I'm Marlon Perkins, and you're watching Mutual of Omaha, The Wild Kingdom. That is not sports. No, it's a different presentation. Uh, <laughs> but I actually think the goal, the move that Bob made, was nicer. Than McKinnon's. Oh, he's the cut into the middle, it like it was through the legs. Wait, you know like, where Bob lost it <laughs> was him in, in the comparison, <laughs> passing it into the bottom. Is corner. how quickly yeah. McKinnon shovels that puck up under the bar. Yeah, like it, it was in his feet. It kinda. was tight, and just the ability to lift mm -hmm. in in in, the, in in his body position, like it was. I, I I'm like I had to see that like five times to truly comprehend how right. he got the puck short side under the bar. I was like, Philly, 
Philly might want to have a piece of that. I do want to ask Mike Kelly the next time he's on the show. So my dad's goal is a left shot, and he shoots it on the ice, far. low glove, far, far, far side, far side, far side. How many times this year have you seen someone shoot across the goalie and score on the ice, low? Like it's just. <laughs> And this never not it's a, a knock on my never, dad, obviously. Never but like just never. Like the goaltender, no, he would just steer it into the corner. Like it was just a different era of goaltending, which everyone knows, but boy, it was different. Substantially different. The skating looked great though. Yeah. Flying. Well, I would love to see him without 13 pound gum boots or whatever the you know, the skates were in nineteen seventy eight or what you, whatever year that was. I think I had... when's the last time you got new skates? Oh gosh. I want to say 15 years ago. <laughs> I, I got new wheels this year. Yeah. I got new wheels this year. Yeah, except you got graphs, so not yeah. really. But I I mean, I had old, I had graphs before, right. and they were falling apart, so I bought new ones. And I don't even they know felt if exactly are good anymore. No oh, disrespect to graph. Maybe they're, they're incredible. Great. I don't even yeah. think they make them anymore. Did you, like, I don't care what league or, t- just tell me, like, yeah. if, if you, you've experienced a few of those rushes sure. ever. Yeah. Like, I had a couple in junior, yeah. and just the whole mindset and the mentality is like, okay, um, I've gotten this far. Uh, I'm going to try to keep going. Yeah. And then, oh, I've gotten this far. And then you're like, okay, w- when is this going to... Well, you're just onto the next piece of the puzzle. <laughs> exactly. And you're like, That's a lot of puzzle but, but pieces. But you still have time in your head to go, okay, like, where, where is everybody? Why am I not... <laughs> why, why didn't I not chop this up into a thousand pieces by now? Yeah. Why haven't I turned the puck over? I'm this close to the goal. Holy moly. Might as well just shoot it in the hockey net. <laughs> I'm going to cut this to the back end. It's <laughs> in. Yeah. But these guys now, whether you're McDavid or McKinnon or Austin Matthews, I think there's an ex- expectation now that they can and they will break through. Like, they're not scared to try an end-to-end rush. Mm-hmm. And then there's others that wouldn't even begin to go down that path. It's like, no, even if I'm a forward and I find myself wheeling around the net, I I, I, I got to make that first pass before I yeah. I uh, screw myself into the ground. I will say I, I am more prone to, like, McDavid will make a pass out of those rushes, right? He'll get everyone to mm-hmm. sort of believe he's going to do it and then he'll dish out of it. Like McKinnon sometimes just get, he again, it's that want that he has, this absurd want that he sometimes he just, I'm doing this, I'm taking it. And it rarely works like that, but beautiful one last night.